Okay, so I've been doing seed to seed gardening for many years now. And I know you can find a lot of the information you need online about how to collect seeds from the plants that you grow. But one of the things I want to recommend is this book right here. Seed to Seed Gardening by Suzanne Ashworth. This is like the Bible of seed to seed gardening. And, uh, you know, there are some vegetables like, like cucumbers and squash and pumpkins, watermelon, those sort of things, you know pretty much what the seed is. Peppers, tomatoes, you would pretty much know what the seeds are. But there are some things that, that you have to grow for two years and onions being one. And it's this book right here that actually makes identifying those plants and knowing what needs to grow longer, how to collect the seeds, how to store the seeds, you know, how, how to um, keep the seeds longer, you know, than just say one year for the next harvest and that sort of thing. So this is really a great book. I'm going to recommend it. I'm also going to leave a link to it in the description. I got it off of Amazon. I've had it for years now, and it does come in handy, even though I know pretty much all the plants I grow, I know how to do seed to seed gardening. But you know, there are some times when I try new uh, vegetables or berries and that sort of thing where I don't really know. And uh, this is a great book to have. And one of the things I want to show you is kind of laid out in a really good way. Uh, how to save the heritage seeds, pollination, the importance of pollination, flower structure, maintaining uh, purity. And what that means is, for instance, if you were going to grow corn, two varieties of corn, you really could not use those for seed to seed gardening. If those two varieties of corn are planted in the same garden. The other thing is too, if it's a hybrid seed, you can't really use those for seed to seed gardening. So this is for heirloom seeds, pretty specifically. Anything that's not a hybrid. Um, how to clean the seeds once you harvest them. How to storage, store the seeds. And then it goes in by the like the plant. Um, The scientific names but it also has a way where you can look it up see there it has scientific name what group that it's in scientific name what it actually is so you can look it up that way um, these are also sorted in the book by the group and what else is there uh, gives some links to like seed saving organizations it's, it's just a great book to have. And let me just show you a, an example page. Let's just find one, anything. Dacon Radish. Says they'll remain viable for five years when stored in a cool, dry, dark location. Obviously, if you freeze them, they say st stay even longer. Um, you know, so there's just really... Let me actually go to the first page. Of Dacon Radish. So it says here almost all radishes are, are annuals, but some are biannuals. The biannuals are the ones that have to go two years, like the onions. Um, regional growing information. Northeast, Mid-Atlantic, Southeast Gulf Coast, Upper Midwest, Southwest, Central West Coast, Maritime Northeast. So it's just really great information to have on the plant how it grows, how to collect the seeds, how to store the seeds, and that sort of thing.